Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, 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 yes. This, I'm very happy to be here in Dillies. I, I think, I think you have, I think you have gotten your God sent pal rep, ladies and gentlemen. And before I give my remarks, I want to say, I want to say to her and the entire Lapin constituency, she will have my absolute backing to implement the programs and projects for the people of this constituency. <laughs> Constituents and other residents of Dalis and the wider Lapin constituency. I have come here this evening to ask you for your support for the candidate of the Dominican Labour Party. I do this against the backdrop of attempts by others to confuse the issues in this general elections campaign. Five nights before polling day, it is not the time for me to recap all what we have done in the Lapin constituency and in the wider Dominica over the past five terms. Five nights before polling day is not the time for me to plead the case of a daughter of Dalis. You know the facts, ladies and gentlemen. You have heard the arguments. The hour of decision is upon us as citizens and residents of this fair land. The world will be watching Dominica next Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. They will be looking to see how mature we are as a people. They will even be looking to see how civilized we are as a people. General elections have been conducted across the world in the midst of COVID, ladies and gentlemen. General elections have been conducted in the midst of a global, social, political an economic meltdown. My dear people, snap elections have been called all over the world. Snap elections have been efficiently conducted all over the world. And the will of the people was determined and honored. How is it, therefore, that nothing abnormal is happening in Dominica, yet the voters of Dominica are being made to live in fear? Snap elections were, co were called in the sister island of Barbados earlier this year, ladies and gentlemen. The opposition there was not ready, but they entered the battlefield because that is what opposition parties do. The opposition in Barbados fought the election. Barbadians went out and voted without incident on elections day. The opposition in Barbados lost every seat but Bajans went about their business the very next day as a mature democracy should. How then are we tonight sending signals to the world that something is different about Dominica? How could snap elections have been called less than two years after polling in St. Kitts and Nevis and voters could have participated in that election without incident? The opposition in St. Kitts was not ready for general elections in under two years. But they fought and, ladies and gentlemen, they won. A party that lost all but two seats 18 months before, won by a landslide earlier this year in St. Kitts and Nevis. Yet, Dominicans are being told that they are not capable of managing their own affairs and that blocking of roads and burning of tires is the pathway to success. No one in this country, 
No one in this country told the United Workers Party not to contest the elections. They heard elections were called. They knew they were not ready. And they panicked. They jumped ahead of themselves and declared that they were not taking part. They refused to nominate candidates. And now, as a date for voting draweth nigh, they are feeling very stupid, ladies and gentlemen. They are feeling defeated. It is now coming home to them that they have sentenced themselves to five more years in the political wilderness in Dominica. They even probably could have increased their numbers. By the farthest stretch of the imagination, they could even have won the elections, who knows? But they threw a tantrum. They threw a tantrum early in the campaign and decided they were not participating. And now their belly burning them, ladies and gentlemen. They went to Goodwill last Sunday and elected a brand new second-hand leader. They installed a new executive. They finally agreed to unite as a party. And now they're sorry they did not contest the elections. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is it that Hector John did not get nominated in Salisbury? It is, it is not my fault that Lennox Linton has given away the strongest UW seat in Dominica. I am to blame for the fact that Thompson, am I to blame for the fact that Thompson Fontaine, the brand new reconditioned leader of the Workers' Party, did not contest the seat in Grafton. Why are they blaming others for their own act of political suicide? They brewed and drank their own Kool-Aid, ladies and gentlemen. They told themselves they could not win and they boycotted the elections. Why are they vexed with labor? Why do they want to intimidate voters on elections day? The role of an opposition is to ready itself for elections. That is the only job. That is the only job. And they did not do that, ladies and gentlemen. That is their fault, not labor fault. Do not blame voters for your stupidity, Workers' Party. You denied your supporters the opportunity to vote for you. And now you are trying to intimidate mine. Well, that is not going to happen in the Commonwealth of Dominica. We shall have free, peaceful, and fair elections on December 6th. Labor rights, friends and well-wishers of Dominica Labor Party. I am calling on you tonight to go out and vote in general elections on Tuesday, December 6th. Come out early and exercise your democratic right. Your four parents, your four parents fought and died for the right to have a voice. You have a voice, supporters and well-wishers of the Dominica Labour Party. You have a voice, and I want you to raise that voice in unison from the opening of the polls on Tuesday to the closing of the door. Come out in your numbers and settle this matter once and for all. Come out on Tuesday, my dear friends of Dalis. La Plaine and Buetica, and vote for Dr. Cassandra Williams. Come out in the north. Come out in the south. Come out in the east, the west, and the center of Dominica 
and vote for the candidates of the Dominica Labour Party. I want, I want returning officers on Tuesday night to tell the world who the people of Dominica want to lead them for the next five years. I want, I want the election observers to look on and determine the will of the people of Dominica. I want the international community to recognize and appreciate the opposition in Dominica for the political nuisances that they are. They have chosen to hand the government back to the Labour Party. Ladies and gentlemen, I am no political strategist. But if I were a senior member of the Workers' Party on November 6th, I would have demanded an urgent delegates conference. And by the following Thursday night, a new leader would have been elected. And the party would have been ready. Ready to fill a full slate of candidates on November 19th, Nominations Day. But I am not in the Workers' Party, thank God. They are too bright. They are too disconnected from ordinary Dominicans. They are too out of touch with their political base to know and understand the wishes of the people. Workers' Party supporters wanted to vote. They tell me they wanted to vote. Supporters of the Workers' Party are upset with their leaders for boycotting the elections. But rather than recognize the folly of their ways, they are looking around for somebody to blame. This reminds me of the Jim Jones story. Edison James told them not to run, and they all drank the Kool-Aid. Now Hector John is going real mad. He's walking about Salisbury like a madman. Well... Let me tell Hector John, Lindsay Frank will walk into Parliament at its opening as a newly elected member of Parliament for the Salisbury constituency. So my dear friends and residents of the Lapin constituency, you have heard your sister, your daughter, friend, your doctor and neighbor this evening. Cassandra Williams is one of you. She's from among you. She is who you want your children to see when they look into the mirror 10 and 20 years from now. And I can tell you, you have found a real gem in Dr. Williams as your pal rep. A lot has been done for this part of Dominica. But I want the Labour Party to do much more for you, the people of this constituency. You deserve it, and you need it. And I will work very closely with your pal rep to ensure she can deliver to you, the people of this constituency. The Dominican Labour Party has nominated a fine slate of candidates. The Labour Party has formulated the best team for these times in which we live. I call upon Dominicans tonight to judge us fairly. We were not perfect. We made some errors, but we also did great deal, a great deal of work, of good work for this country. I ask you tonight, I ask you tonight to go out on Tuesday and vote for the candidates of the Dominica Labour Party. Put your ex in the box next to the shoe, ladies and gentlemen. Do not let any part of the ex touch any part of the box. Put that ex dead center in the box, beside the shoe, and walk out of that polling station feeling uplifted and accomplished. Voting is your civic duty. Go out on Tuesday and vote for the candidates of the Dominica Labour Party. It is good to be in Delhi tonight. 
I am proud of our choice of candidate. She shall represent you with honor and dignity, ladies and gentlemen. And I can say to you, I have no doubt that every constituent in the world is jealous of your candidate tonight. I want Dr. Cassandra Williams' name to be called on Tuesday night as a duly elected member for the Lapland constituency. I want, I want Greta Roberts' name to be called as a duly elected member for the Grand Fork Monjon River Civic constituency. I want Octavia Alfred return as a pal rep for Cassie Bruce. And I want Cozier Frederick to receive. And I want Cozier Frederick to receive even more votes this time than he did last election. My dear people of the east and southeast of Dominica, I want all four seats just mentioned. And when those four are in the bag, I want Gregory Rivera to be elected as a new pal rep for the constituency of Marigold. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to bring all five seats in the East and Southeast home. The other six seats, I can assure you, will be coming to labor as well. I want to say to my friends in the Grand Fork constituency and the South and Southeast, including this constituency, We have a lot of work to do in this upcoming term in the East to build greater resilience, safer homes in safer places. And just to let you know that we have already started the work. We have already started raising the funds for the interventions. And just yesterday, this was why I was not in Grand Fall last night. I traveled to Venezuela to meet the president of Venezuela. To speak to him about support for the East of Dominica. To respond to the disaster. And I can tell you, I got good news for the South and Southeast of Dominica. As, as the Prime Minister of this country, I will be personally overseeing the reconstruction of the East of Dominica. Personally, we will see in this. My dear sisters and brothers, friends, well-wishers, thank you for coming out this evening. Let us, let us hang around for a little Labour Party hospitality. Drive home safely. Go out and vote on Tuesday and let us, let us all have a night of celebration on Tuesday evening. And as we know, as we know, we are not leaving what we have for what we not yet see. And we're not leaving who we love because of jealousy. That is, and we're going out on election day and voting for the candidates of the Dominica Labour Party. Because labor is still the best choice for Dominica, ladies and gentlemen. So as we go home, and as a school teacher, 
We have to live with the message. So let's go. We not live in what we have for what we not yet see. We not live in who we love because of jealousy. We are voting Labour Party because Labour is still the best choice for Dominica. So let's get it a little faster now. A little faster now. We not live in what we have for what we not yet see. We not live in who we love because of jealousy. And labor is still the best choice. We vote in labor on election day. So ladies and gentlemen, let us join hearts and hands and minds to build a peaceful, prosperous Dominica that we all can benefit from. And you here in the Laplin constituency, you have a phenomenal woman as your pal rep. And, and she is just what the doctor ordered, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. Thank you for listening to me. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night, we'll be in Rosa Central at the promenade to support Medicine Scarlet for the city. God bless you. Thank you for the support. Let us all go out on election day. Do not say labor has won already. We want every vote to be counted. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Much love. Thank you very much. <laughs>